Are you ready for Time in the World? Time in the World. Time in the Word, presented by Rejoice in Jesus Ministries, an on-fire Bible-centered teaching ministry based in Los Angeles, California, with outreaches throughout the United States, stretching from coast to coast. Join us now as Pastor Chester C. Pippen Jr. brings us an exciting, anointed message. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Yeah. Thou yeah. shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not okay. steal. <coughs> that scripture where it says thou shalt not kill, it really means thou shalt not murder. <coughs> I hear some people, they say what God had, you know, Different men of God kill people. So how did he break his own word? He didn't break his word. And it really means uh, you shall not murder anybody. But he, he commanded them to go in the military and he commanded the police. And all those that represent uh, keeping order. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Okay, so if you want your days to be long, uh, you, you need to definitely start honoring people and definitely honor the Lord and whatever he wants you to, to do, uh, whatever he has, uh, to, has led you to do and to be part of. He starts with children. He starts with children because children are, are most impressionable, number one. Number two, he wants it to mold into the children. I remember one time my father <coughs> was taking me, I don't remember, somewhere, but we were walking out, and as I walked out of his house, there was a big bowl a ball of uh, paper. So when I saw that piece of paper, I said, oh, I got to get that. And he said, what do you mean you got it? I ran over there and grabbed it and ran back to the backyard and dropped it in the can anyway. He said, you, had, you went through all of that just for that piece of paper? I said, yeah, Dad. I didn't want, it, it was kind of cluttering the, sidewalk there and he he kind of looked at me like he was amazed that I care that that much about a piece of paper <clears throat> but it, it was something that the Lord had put in me uh, not so much picking up paper but just <laughs> <laughs> just uh, having everything in order that that God would have it to be and that was just one of the things because the older you get the more pressures come against you and if you don't learn to honor uh, what needs to be honored at that time you're not going to honor him properly and that's the way he feels about it he wants to make sure you grow in honor as you get older and all of you are ancient of age already but <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'm, I should talk, huh? <laughs> yeah, anyway, so uh, he wants us to learn the honor from 
youth on up. And one of the reasons this country is in the, the shape it's in is because people have stopped honoring the words of the Lord. And as a result of that, we're really almost on the verge of war. <clears throat> I don't know what's getting ready to happen. Uh, Russia made this statement that they had developed some kind of new yeah. bomb that was, you know, we didn't have any kind of defense for it. Some of the people said, some of the generals said they didn't believe it. They felt like Russia was lying and trying to play, put us in a box. But <clears throat> I, I just believe you're right. They're right. I choose to believe they're right. Because <laughs> if they're not, then who knows what we might be getting ready for. <clears throat> but uh, the more you, the older you get, the more you have to get straight with honoring your wives, honoring your husband. <laughs> Husbands honoring their wives. And both parents honor their kids. And the kids definitely have to learn to honor their parents. And it's just a thing. God wants honor to be part of our natural way of thinking about whatever we're dealing with. And so he wants us to, for it to become a part of us, honor not just the action. He wants us to all honor one another and honor people even when they, he realizes that sometimes you got parents that, you know, are, are not lovable, are not right. But, it, it, read, read it again, that part. Honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Okay, that's not talking about heaven. It's talking about what he does with you on earth. He wants you to honor not only father and mother. As one of the, one of the scriptures says, uh, not that just your life shall be long, but it says, uh, it'll be good. Uh, it'll be go well with you. <clears throat> so, okay, if everything's not going well, you might not need to want to stay late long, <laughs> to live long. But uh, he wants you to understand that he wants you life to go well with you and the things that he wants to use in your life, he wants it to be well too. And if you come into situations that are hard, he wants you to still just handle it in the name of Jesus and with the power of the Holy Ghost that's in you. So, <clears throat> no matter what you think about, People are having problems, not because they have been so good or bad. They're having problems because they haven't honored the Lord and they haven't honored his word. That's really, they're not honoring what he said. And they're more interested in having fun and doing whatever, which doesn't mean anything. He wants you to honor the Lord, and he wants you to honor what he said. People are honoring everything but the word. And so that's very dangerous for what's happening in this time. You know, I remember uh, how when I was in elementary, all the kids, all the guys especially, there was this building they were building not far from where 
uh, Trinity was. And there was a big pile of sand there. And so the guys got into this thing, uh, you're chicken if you don't go up to the second floor and jump into the pile of sand. <laughs> but to show you how God watches out for you, now, I really didn't want to, but I was not going to be left out. <laughs> they weren't going to call me no chicken. So <laughs> uh, I got up there, and the guy just before me jumped off. And when he did, he broke his leg. So I said, oh, man, we better stop. Look <laughs> <laughs> I thought I, you know I was young I thought that was I was just lucky but as I've grown older and look at it I realized the Lord allowed that to happen at that point and it was an accident that the guy broke his leg at that moment I mean his leg got okay after a while but God has many things that he wants us to accomplish but he wants us to honor his word. And I think a lot of us, even though we are Christians and we love the Lord, we're not honoring what he said. We're not honoring him in that sense. And uh, we're honoring what we want. And so he wants us to change on that because he's getting close to the time of whatever it is he wants us to do. And he's brought that up too. He said, I'm almost ready uh, to use you for what I created you for. He meant the ministry. <clears throat> so, whatever that is, he didn't explain it. He never does. He just <laughs> tells me the point and then he doesn't explain unless there's a purpose for me knowing that and he just said I'm almost ready for you guys for what I created you for mm -hmm. so there's something he's going to do with us and honor is part of it as we learn to honor people and honor his word even more so we're going to be more prepared for whatever he's about to do Okay, look at uh, Exodus 20. Let's start at verse 12. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not co covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Now, putting it simply, he don't want you looking at what everybody else got and say, boy, I want that. <laughs> you can see that what they got and maybe you might want something similar. But I remember when faith teaching first came out, there were people who felt like, oh, we, we can believe God for our house, and that we're going to believe for this house, and God's going to kick them out. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was not God, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> but they kept that, those kind of attitudes were going on for a long time. And so, you know, he, he, you don't commit adultery because uh, then your, your wife or your husband is being robbed. And so he's not into robbery. And so he, want, he wants us to not allow that to take place. The devil because it's the natural human nature we will try to, you know, stir it up in people to do that. But if you're going to honor God, you got to honor his word. 
okay, then it's <clears throat> you can't go around stealing from people because when you start stealing from them, again, you're robbing them. And you're supposed to be a blessing to other people. Okay, and uh, you don't go around lying all the time. Period. <laughs> when you hear something from God, you want to know that it, you obviously know that it's so. But he wants us as his children to be the same way. And in this world, you know, lying, uh, which I thought was interesting that this, this girl that was, uh, had some kind of special position with Pat, President Trump, and she's getting ready to retire. And so they asked her about the things that she did, and she said, oh, I just told a few little white lies every so often. Well, God don't even want you telling the white lies. Brown lies, black lies, or yellow lies. <laughs> he don't want you dealing with it. He wants you to be truthful. And, he has to, and you have to trust him to protect you, even if you have to say something that's, you know, kind of dangerous by you telling the truth. But... <clears throat> All these things are not just things he said for the children of Israel. There is a definite character he, he's trying to develop us in through these things. And now I know a lot of us don't even border on thinking that we're going to get that strict. But... Uh, if you want the blessing that God is getting ready to bring upon us, and he does have a lot of uh, things he wants to do with us and for us, <clears throat> keeping strict adherence to these ten, 10 things that he said will help you be prepared and be ready. There are a lot of things that we do in everyday life that's dangerous. My sister here, she uh, just got a new house. And, <laughs> and so the problem was, though, some, uh, what were the Buddhists? Yeah, lived there. And the lady who was the main one died in, in the house there. And so, <clears throat> you know, a lot of houses that you run into have a lot of spirits operating in them. So she called a bunch of us over there to pray over the house. But for whatever reason, the Lord had me get tied up and so when we got halfway to the house uh, we called and told them we're almost there but then a lot of the people had to leave and others didn't get to even show up and so there were a certain five four or five more people uh, is that right five anyway but as soon as I walked in the house, I felt their presence. I went, oh boy. <laughs> this is gonna be a war. <clears throat> and so we started and we attacked every place in her house. And I think we got about 80% out. You just need, all who go in there need to just continue to bind the, the spirits. But uh, they got very upset with me. It kept, there was this force that kept hitting me. <laughs> I laughed at them. And they, and they were, we went from room to room, we went from, 
the, every place in the house, you know, we just had to, we didn't want any cracks left for them to be hiding in. Yeah. <clears throat> but you guys got to get your spirits built so that when you come up on it, whatever, you're ready to tell them, look, you got to get out of here and mean it and don't get moved by what they may try to come up with. I remember we had a, when we first got to Pepperdine, there was a place called the uh, psychology department. And we get, were given, they gave it to us to use, rejoice. And we had a lot of favor. I, at first the Lord was gonna give us really the whole uh, Pepperdine uh, Ministry or Pepperdine University down here in Los Angeles area. They had built the new ones up there and Pepper, I mean, you know, it's just when they went up there, it was really nice. So they didn't have any use for the ones that were down there and they were going to give it to us for a dollar a year. Well, as it turned out that one of our brothers in the Lord, I won't say who it was. Well, yeah, I guess you guys know who it was. Uh, Brother Price, they, <clears throat> they came and they, they, they laid out $5 million. And so, the school called us and said, uh, they just gave us $5 million. Have you got any money? <laughs> <laughs> well, we had to say, no, not that much, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> and they said, well, they, they, if you come up with the money, let us know, but as it is right now, we gotta go with him. Obviously, we didn't come up with it, so, of course, they got the land there. <clears throat> there, there was a purpose in that, too. I won't go into it now, but uh, <clears throat> there was a prophetess in Richmond, as a matter of fact, who came and prophesied to me about the whole thing. And she told me that it was, we were intended to hold, hold the land for, for uh, Fred Price wow. at Crenshaw Christian Center. Wow. So I, the Lord had chosen me to do that. Wow. And I said, why me? I, <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people didn't understand that and they, they thought we were, you know, they were, uh, that we were almost in the way but when we first got there, the Lord told us to walk around the whole campus seven times. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and after a while, the cops would come by and they, they would ride with us right. as we walked around. They say, like, they thought we were like silly kids. You, know. you guys walking around, don't you know it's dangerous in this area? And blah, blah, blah. And, you know. We say, well, the Lord told us to do it. And they're like, well, these poor fools, we better ride with, <laughs> along with them and protect them. <laughs> so they stayed with us the whole, every seven rounds we did. And the last one, you know, they kind of stopped and waited till we prayed through. And then, they let, then we went over there and thanked them for helping us and so forth. <clears throat> but... Uh, it was, it was a nice little paradise we thought we had, but God had obviously other plans. And uh, the point I'm, I'm trying to bring is, is that, because I asked him, how come I can't, I mean, we, I'm an alumni of the school, the school wants us to have it, because we're alumni, and I don't understand why you giving it to them. And uh, he said he wasn't going 
to go into all of that. But he said, you would rather they have it than somebody in the world, wouldn't you? Uh, so what can I say but yeah. <laughs> and just, you know, there was a, there had been all kinds of challenges. The Oakland Raiders, when they first moved down, they wanted their for practice play. Uh, there was large churches from different places, from Texas, and, and then different other places. And they all wanted to get that land. The city wanted to keep it for a park. And I told them, you can't have it. And they said, why can't we have it? I said, because the Lord gave it to us. And he thought that was quite amusing. And he was a, I don't know, he was a counselor. I mean, he was, anyway, they, they uh, told all the other guys, they said, this guy says that we can't have it because the Lord gave it to him. We would like to send you a tape of this entire message. For any donation of $5 or more, we will send you a CD. For any donations of $12 or more, we will send you a DVD. Please write to us at Rejoice in Jesus Ministries, P.O. Box 47775, Los Angeles, California, 90047, or call 323-REJOICE. Please mention tape offer number TITW1333, that is tape offer number TITW1333. Hi. You know the Bible says that all things are upheld by the power of this word? That means when you put the word in your heart, it will produce life and health to all your flesh. It will also produce faith so that whatever you come up against, you can overcome it. But remember, you won't have the victory you desire unless you make a decision to not allow anything to get in the way of your intimacy with Jesus, nor allow anything to distract you from your time in Thank you for watching Time in the Word. If you are blessed by today's message, we'd love to hear from you. You can write us at P.O. Box 47775, Los Angeles, California, 90047. Or call us at 323-735-6923. That's 323-REJOICE. And if you're in the Los Angeles area, visit our worship service on Saturday nights at 7.30 p.m., 1304 Cochran Avenue, corner of Cochran and Packard Street. And again, thank you for watching Time in the Word.